So before we get into this video, I just want to appreciate everyone, show appreciation to everybody that has been following me along this road. We're almost at 5,000 subscribers and we're just getting started. There's so much opportunity here to be done with the Crypto Dance, Crypto Truth Unveiled. We're max alpha. If you want a place to really dive deep and talk with crypto investors that are like-minded like you, whether you're new, experienced, you've been in multiple bull runs, and you just need a place to have a solid group of guys and girls that want to talk crypto and are not joking around. We're serious about our investments. We make money every single day in crypto. We lose money too, but over the long term, we have made substantial amounts of money in our crypto community. Um, millions of dollars has been amassed in our community over the last six months. I can promise you that, and I can show you receipts of how many people are happy with the services of Crypto Danks, me. So hit the Patreon link down below, like, subscribe, join the family, and enjoy the video. <laughs> Crypto Danks, he in the trenches. Welcome back, Crypto Enthusiasts. It's your boy, Crypto Danks, back with another no banger. And today, I got to talk got about SET. It's a layer one blockchain for trading applications. That's specific to what they do. Um, and we're going to go over all kinds of stuff, um, including, you know, what SET is. You know, we can go to the coin market cap figure out what says market cap is we can go over some price action as well in the charts and uh, I've been tracking um, say for quite some time uh, since the launch um, last year and it's been performing extraordinarily well I mean it's up from its low around 11 cents or so showing on coin market cap might have some more history before CMC was released uh, as CMC does take maybe some time, but this is a heavily backed project. That's one thing that you should know is that it is heavily backed. Um, and the tokenomics, I'll bring these up first just so you can see like right away. This is the main concern that I have for this project. It's a great project. Don't get me wrong, but the tokenomics, mm, shaky at best, right? They got friends misspelled but obviously that's for uh what i think to be private investors then they've got 20 percent for the team but then they have 48 percent for the ecosystem which is also the team ecosystem reserves is basically the team they can go in take money use it for whatever they want all right so so far we have 68 percent for the team and then another 20% for insider private sales. So that's 88% of allocation to insiders, which also could be the team as well. Launch pool, 3%, foundation, 9%, fine. Now, people are going a little, ex getting excited because, you know, Coinbase is on board, Jump is on board. There's a lot of different backers on board that are pretty popular, but specifically Coinbase, right? This is one that really grabs people and they say, wow, Coinbase is behind them. They must be legit. But, you know, let's talk about a little bit about what we're diving into. So it's a revolutionary blockchain project that really is trying to, de it's shaking up the decentralized trading space, right? So at its core, Say is a layer one blockchain built from the ground up uh, with one single purpose in mind. It's to create the ultimate trading experience. So imagine a world where trading is faster fairer and more accessible than ever before that's kind of the vision that say is trying to bring to life so the thing is what what sets apart say from other blockchain projects well it comes down to its laser focus on trading all right other pro platforms and projects they are trying to be like the jack of all trades while say is a master of one all right and a lot of people don't know this and a lot of people don't do the research but essentially say is focused specifically for building trading dexes that are faster more fair and there's a lot of reasons to go into it i'm going to try not to get too technical but i am going to explain all the stuff that i was able to break down from the, the white paper and uh, we're going to go through some of this stuff. But first, let's look at the site uh, on CoinMarketCap. We're at $1.8 billion market cap. Um, we can actually also go to CryptoRank.io. And if you go to CryptoRank.io, you'll actually be able to just put in, say, 
And typically this is where I'll find the investors, the vesting schedule, stuff like that. Um, so this is where I find that. So vesting and fundraising. These are the two most important. Fundraising first, we'll take a look. You know, 30 million raised from OKX, Foresight, plus four others, who are they maybe? Uh, I mean, these are all their, you know, they've got tier ones through tier five inv investors. Um, they have a seed round, five million, and then a private round, $10 million. So they were able to raise uh, $45 million uh, plus an undisclosed amount from Circle. Interestingly enough, Circle is the foundation, if I'm not mistaken, that also makes USDC. Now, my only gripe with Circle, if this is the same one, is that Circle works with the Financial Crimes Unit of the United States using USDC as their coin that they follow transactions and stuff. I could be wrong, it might be a different Circle, but uh, I do know that Circle does uh, operate USDC. Let's actually look, USDC and Circle. So, uh, Circle.com. Let's see if their logo is the same. Yeah, it is the same logo. So um, this is an interesting situation. Do some more research on what I just mentioned about USDC, which is being regulated by the financial crime services of the United States. They are working hand in hand with the government. So this is, you know, this is, it's not as decentralization as we imagined it for the future. But at the same time, they do have some really interesting technology and i figured it i'd be doing an injustice to the crypto to my crypto community by not bringing this to the forefront it is a top 100 crypto after all it's in the billion dollar market cap plus range um so really think of say as a high performance sports car kind of if i give an analogy it's engineered for speed precision and efficiency with features like twin turbo consensus parallel processing uh, which makes say built to be handling, you know, even the most demanding trading environments. So it's kind of like having, you know, strong superhero power trading at your fingertips, right? So, um, but it's not just about raw performance. It also uh, is about creating a level playing field for all traders, which is nice for all retail traders as well. Not just institutional, it's for everybody, right? So with native price oracles um, ensuring fair prices, if you will. They use these native oracles to ensure these prices are fair and frequent. Back auctioning uh, is handled to prevent front running. So that's important. So if they can prevent front running from happening on higher percentage slippage uh, trades, that would be a, a huge thing because obviously front running is a big deal, especially on the ETH chain. Uh, Say is dedicated to fostering and tra a transparent and equitable trading ecosystem as well. So, um, and, and here's the best part. Say is designed to empower um, a vibrant community of DEXs, right? So their idea is to actually have people build DEXs on top of their chain. So rather than operating its own DEX, Say provides all the tools and infrastructure and everything for developers to build their own trading platforms. It's like giving them the keys to the kingdom and saying, go forth with innovation, right? So um, whether you're a seasoned trader or just dipping your toes into the world of crypto, Say is really here to try to revolutionize the trading experience. Um, so, you know, get ready and buckle up because the revolution of Say seems to me like it's already started. Um, Say versus other chains, the competitive edge. Say um, stands tall among competitors with its unmatched speed, scalable architecture, and user centric design. See how Say compares with other leading blockchains and understand why it's the best choice for your project. So ETH has 15 transactions per second with a six minute finality. That's increased significantly, especially after, after they moved to proof of stake. Execution environments are Ethereum virtual machines. Uh, processing style is sequential and proof of stake, of course. Uh, ETH rollups, uh, less than 50 transactions per second, six minutes, uh, such and such. Solana, 10,000 transactions per second, two and a half second mil uh, transaction finality time. And um, they have the C level runtime environment processing style is parallelized and um, it's a proof of stake. Now, the Say network is transactional output of 12,500 TPS. All right. It has a 380 millisecond 
uh, finality trans. So that's that's 0.3 of a second, right? So if point if a second went all the way up to 0.9 and then one's 0.0, this is almost 0.4, right? So it's less than half of a second finality time. They use the COSM WASM <clears throat> execution environment, parallelized, and a proof of stake. And then you can click start building there if you'd like. Uh, why build on Say? So the collaborative blockchain development, Say fosters a collaborative space where developers and innovators come together advancing decentralized applications and financial solutions through shared expertise and vision, robust developer support. Um, they offer lots of self developer support through documentation, uh, detailed documentation, as they say, developer forums to empower the creation of innovation and efficient blockchain applications. Community engagement and growth. Say nurtures a vibrant community through regular events, hackathons, and innovation uh, initiatives, fostering active participations and collective growth. So infinite possibilities. What can you build on Say? From DeFi platforms to NFT marketplaces, the next killer consumer application, the possibilities on Say are end, uh, limitless. Whatever your vision, Say provides the tools and environment to bring it to life. Um, start building now. So we already know that they are not building their own decks, but they're providing the tools and the opportunity for other people to build decks on top of their blockchain. So features like the native order matching engine, asset agnos agnostic matching, and customizable trading fees make it easier for developers to create and launch their own DEXs. So these DEXs can then utilize Say's high performance capabilities, such as the twin turbo consensus and parallelization, blah, 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 parallelization to provide a seamless trading experience for their users. So in summary, Say is focused on being the underlying blockchain power uh, platform that empowers a diverse ecosystem of DEXs rather than operating in DEX itself, right? So, um, you know, when comparing Say to other trading crypto projects, say like Quant, right? Because Quant does have this trading, you know, uh, does have trading built into the, the code and you're able to do things with institutional trading and finance with Quant, which actually made it very enticing for people uh, once Quant really started to become known. But now we have projects like Say, which are even faster and more efficient and, you know, has a specific purpose built for trading specifically. All right. So purposely built for trading, you know, it's designed ground up for that reason. Other projects like Quant are more general purpose and they're just not optimized for trading. Um, we've got all the developer hub, you know, the ecosystem, community, media. There's there's a lot. I mean, they have careers page. There's there's all kinds of stuff going on here. Let's say you can check their their uh, Twitter out. Uh, it's Say Network. They have the gold check mark, of course, with six hundred and sixty six thousand followers. Um, you know, they're they're pinned on March 13th. This was important to them. So let's see what it says. It says parallelizing the EVM does not stop with launching Say V2. It's time to think even bigger as part of Say Labs mission to scale the EVM. It's creating an open source framework for maximally performant parallelized L2 chains. Introducing the parallel stack. So there's a blog there. Uh, you can check that out on their site. Um, and then inspired by developments and learnings from building the most performant EVM blockchain to date in Say V2. It uh, has a parallel stack. So it kind of explains how the parallelism and the maximal performance works on L2s. Um, as a fully open source public good, the parallel stack offers a rich foundation for builders on the EVM, empowering them with unparalleled customization capabilities while anchoring on the robust security features of Ethereum or any other chosen data availability layer, right? Um, now they have this twin turbo high performance consensus, so which, which say utilizes um, this mechanism. It combines intelligent block propagation and optimistic block, uh, block processing. So it also reduces latency and increases the throughput compared to traditional consensus algorithms, enabling a faster and more efficient trading platform than others. Um, they also have the parallel processing power, which employs advanced techniques such as deliver transaction or deliver TX and market dash based 
uh, processes multiple transactions simultaneously, which obviously improves scalability. Other projects may not offer the same level of parallel processing, allows, which this also allows Stay to handle high trading volumes and maintain performance under a very heavy load. And remember, 12,000.5 TPS. I mean, that's up there, right? Uh, native, the native price oracles I was talking about earlier, which has, which say has built in these oracles that provide accurate and up to date instantaneous asset prices. So like, you know, they're talking like right as soon as the price changes, they are getting these updates. It also, these native price oracles also ensure, uh, fair pricing and prevents price manipulation. This is exactly what we need in the market because we see so much manipulation these days, right? Let me go back to the say website. Uh, we can actually probably click on ecosystem. Um, and then they have a say bridge, the say explorer. You could stake your say, discover features, applications on say, and then start building. I mean, this is a developer's dream for DEXs. So if you really wanted to build a crypto DEX, a, uh, any DeFi uh, NFT DEX, I mean, they're, they're liquid staking. You know, there's so many different options that you can do and look at all the ecosystem um you know options that they have ai bridge data uh analytics DeFi, explorer gaming infrastructure launchpad nfts on and off ramp rwa services social validators wallets all right so looks like these are partners of theirs it doesn't say partners but i'm going to go ahead and assume the, the latter um you know, deck. I mean, they have a lot. They had Chain GPT, Dexter, Dex, Dexter, Dex Screener. So you know, they they do have their hands in a lot of pots, and I think it ha a lot of it has to do with the fact immune immune five Jellyverse. Uh, it might have to do with the fact that uh, Nansen, and the, the fact that um, you know Coinbase is involved. Um, so we see a lot. Look at all of these partners here, right? So um, very interesting to see. Let's scroll back up here and go to community a little bit. Say Marines spearheading blockchain excellence. Say it's not the fastest layer one blockchain. It's a hub of innovation and community. Say Marines embodies the spirit and driving for the boundaries. I guess they have Say Marines, which is their, you know, their XRP army, right? So Nate, uh, they have also what's called native order matching engine, which offers, um, it offers optimization for trading so it provides the 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 native it's you know the gnome n-o-m-e native ordered matching engine uh, it provides a standardized and efficient way for dexes to process orders now other projects may require dexes to build their own order matching system as where say actually has one built in for you so says native engine saves development time and ensures a consistent uh, trading experience. They also have the asset agnostic matching system, which allows for trading of any type of asset. So enables a wide range of trading pairs and innovative financial instruments. Other projects may be limited to specific asset types or token standards. Says flexibility future proofs the platform and allows for creative new use cases. And then they also have two things, the frequent batch auctioning and customizable trading fees. So the frequent batch auctioning, uh, say uses this to process multiple orders simultaneously, meaning at the same time. It ensures fair execution and prevents front running and MEV exploitation. That is very huge. We need this frequent batch auctioning. Other projects may use traditional sequential order processing, which is vulnerable to manipulation. And that's what we're trying to get away from in trading. Say's approach promotes a more equitable and stable trading environment. Now the customizable trading fees, Say allows DEXs to set their own trading fee structures. It enables DEXs to differentiate themselves and cater to specific user preferences. Other projects may enforce a one size fits all fee model. Uh, says flexibility promotes competition and innovative among DEXs within their ecosystem. Because best believe there's going to be people building their DEXs, whatever type that is on their platform, but in the end or on their chain, but in the end, there's not going to be like five or 10 that everybody's using. It's going to be like one or two, you know what I mean? So the first few to get it and nail it in right, or maybe someone comes in and learns from their mistakes and nails it in right. 
those are going to be the ones that are people are going to be using the say decks right and what's interesting is say is allowing them uh, their community to build their own say decks as well right so um <clears throat> there's a lot about this project we could go on for quite some time um it's a new frontier for financial institutions say opens up a new world of possibilities for financial institutions offering blockchain platform that combi combines unparalleled uh, unparalleled speed with robust security this is where cutting edge technology meets institutional needs for transparency and sufficient efficiency and security if i click launch app let's see what happens uh just go ahead and agree i guess so this is showing all the staking uh the third party bridge you can claim uh your uh, i guess your stake tokens and then they're dive into the say ecosystem here so they do have the staking option here and then you can choose the um moniker and then the commission rate that you'll be receiving uh, estimated APR is 4.25, active validators 39, bonded tokens ratio 98.37%. So these are all your staking options. Um, let's look at, and this thing bothers me, that Circle is their number one investor, like their first investor, man. You know, I don't like Circle because of the fact they're in the government's back pocket. An undisclosed amount, raised anonymous investor circle i mean this is kind of worrisome for me sure you know did they raise 45 million dollars up front yeah did they have a valuation of 800 million on launch yeah is their market cap right now over a billion yeah but at the same time you're fighting potentially massive massive dumps from the team now if they're smart okay if they're smart They'll let, say, run through the bull run, and then they'll try to, to peel off of the top of the bull run, or on the way up, or on the way down, or what have you. But at the end of the day, the people that are invested into this project, their friends, the team, I mean, the team found, the team is the, I mean, I don't know if this was a mistake or something, but the foundation is team as well. So essentially, the team has, the whole e the whole tokenomics is is insiders this is another insider trading like not insider trading but insider held project that all the tokens are going to come from dumps from insiders there's no insiders that don't there, there's no tokens that were released to the public so this allocation is very important to realize that basically this is an insider's project okay so you have to be very very careful and, and none of this is financial advice um but this is worrisome right so let's take a look here um at their twitter and when did they actually create it because that's what i'm curious about is so it's been about two uh two years now and they've grown very healthily on their website as well i think they have a news or a media section let's just see if there's anything there um, notable on the news front that they might have posted um, yeah fundamental use cases of blockchain with say labs founder Jeff Fang oh this is a uh, docs team as well with Jeff Fang being their founder paralyzing parallelizing the uh, Ethereum execution environment uh, I'm not sure where these are at let me see if it shows okay this is on YouTube it looks like um, talking about the fundamental use cases uh, let's see what else they've got I mean it looks like everything is on YouTube let's go ahead and go I'm really curious I'm just gonna type in say crypto and go to the news on uh, Google or whatever I'm on and see if it has anything so um, without diving too deep I don't see anything on surface level uh, say and Pyth tokens rally ahead. This is investing.com. Uh, next level trading. Yeah, there's not much news or information on Say when it comes there. Let's go to Coin Telegraph, and I'm just gonna type in Say and see if we get anything. 
VC round up our VCs returning to crypto. Nothing really here. So, oh, here we go. Say token valued at 1.8 billion after beta launch exchanges and listings. That was in August of last year. Uh, so really not much on the news front, right? But we can do one last thing. Uh, I hate seeing this thing. Sorry, Circle, if you ever watch this or anybody, I just don't, you know, like I'm about crypto decentralization. You know, I'm not about uh, governments conspiring against the United States population to monitor their USDC transactions to find out what they're up to with their money. So say, and I know it sounds like I'm a conspiracy theorist, but I'm telling you that's that's what's happening. So let's look at say. <clears throat> we can look at the chart. We got, I made an entry recently. Uh, around the 40 cent range. Um, let me get rid of the Bollinger Bands here, probably for a little bit. Yeah. So right now we're on the four hour time frame, and we do have money flowing back into the asset after we did have some bearish time here, and we did actually become overbought very quickly. However, if we go on the let's go on the daily time frame here looks very this chart looks very bullish from the start i mean if you really look at the launch okay sure you know there was a dump right because it did go all the way up to what maybe 35 cents at the top of launch but essentially you know ended up bottoming out at a negative 72 percent and it just ripped i mean you're up to 65 cents today. It's gone over a dollar 15, um, just about, or at dollar 14. Um, so, what am I seeing on the daily? I'm seeing bearish momentum printing on the daily, but the money flow is wanting to flow right back into the green, and that's when I look at more shorter time frames to see where is the money flow actually is it heading because the shorter the time frame the, the more frequent you'll see the money flow and as we move we start to see some green here so this is actually a perfect long position it's called the blue wave strategy with the market cipher b um, and i'll show you exactly so right here we have the anchor wave which is a deep deep wave and then we have a trigger wave now typically you'll want to see this money flowing already flowing back into green before you place your long so for me i might have gotten in a little bit later i'd say oh we do have an anchor usually your trigger wave wants to be much shorter than this like shorter than these lines and the anchor wave deeper but this does constitute as a trade as a long however i might have waited until i saw the money flow actually start to thin out which i would have probably caught it right here so given that you know, if you did get in where I would have gotten in, you probably would have been up right now on a long of 20% times 10x, 200% easy, easy money just off of one trading uh, indicator, right? This is not just any indicator, but um, yeah. So I thought I'd just bring this to your attention, try to tell you a little bit about what it is, you know. Um, you know, at the end of the day, we have to fight um, these insiders and allocations and stuff because this is where the tokens are coming from. So, you know, one thing leads to another and we'll just have to see how the market reacts. Other than that, um, So as we get into the funding round, we see all the funding, we see all the money raised, except for what we don't see, which is the circle uh, amount. So if their valuation is 800 million and they've only raised 45 million. I, I don't know. I mean, that's a, that's a, you know, 10, uh, it's almost a 20 X, a little less from the valuation. And then here it breaks down the token allocation private investors team other ecosystem i mean in general it doesn't look that great to be honest this is all insiders to me we can look at the cliff though oh and you'll you'll get to scroll down here you can see all their investors and backers uh shows that we have 16 investors and backers of vc right so 
These can be dangerous, right? VCs can really suppress the price unless they have a really good vesting schedule. What you want to see is you want to see cliffs of some sort. A cliff is where they don't unlock anything for X amount of time, right? So 20%, there's a one year cliff. They don't start unlocking until August of 2024, August of 2024 for the team, private and investors and then there's a two-year cliff for the other team wallet um so that won't be until 2027 it looks like actually uh team four year four year cliff sorry four year cliff so they do have some cliffs they are unlocking some now come august we're gonna have double unlocks on top of the foundation and ecosystem so the most rampant unlocks are going to be starting in the uh, autumn of this year all right so let's break this down and summarize a little bit about everything what it is say or say it's a groundbreaking layer one blockchain they all call themselves groundbreaking but this is quite unique um, but it's un unique because of the fact that it's laser focused on trading Every element of Say's architecture from its cutting edge consensus mechanism to its native order matching engine is optimized for the specific demands of DEX trading, all right, decentralized trading. It's like a high performance sports car engineered for speed and efficiency, kind of like I mentioned before. It has the advanced features, twin turbo consensus, parallel processing, enabling it to handle the most demanding trading environments with ease. Additionally, Say prioritizes fairness and transparency, which is important, um, using native price oracles and frequent batch auctioning to create a level playing field for all traders. Rather than operating its own decks, we can build on top of it and make our own decks for ourselves, also fostering the opportunity to use different DEX uh, trading fees, uh, applying them however we'd like. Um, so whether you're pro or new to crypto, Say is here to transform your trading experience or so they say so that's all i got for you i hope that this video helps i know it's kind of a long one but sometimes the best ones come in long format and uh, i gotta give you the alpha that i can if you didn't know what say was now you know crypto danks peace Flipping these coins like they hopping fences. Crypto danks, he in the trenches. Pushing up numbers, calling bench presser. Stacking up bits, no time for the cheaters. All day got young cloth on the speakers. He trades by day, moonlights by the ledger. Buying low, selling high, no one does it better. Blockchain's heavy, but his wallet's never tethered. Dodging them dips like bad weather. Uh. Uh. Pockets deep like the coin mines digging. No fud here, his hands never wriggling. Dollar signs in the eyes, sight so keen. Watch the market move, keeping his slate clean. Master of the trades, the exchange's bloody ground. The candlestick walks and his beats is laid down. Linked to the future with a blockchain bound. A crypto king wearing his digital crown. Crypto bank stacking coins to the ceiling. In the coin base where he's steadily dealing. Steadily dealing. Steadily dealing.